up towards Carlton Hill. See the hill right in front of us. So we're gonna make our way up that way. See what kind of a climb it is. Supposedly it's a decent uh, enough climb. And uh, the old feet should be uh, well tired by the end of that because I think I've already done about 8,000 steps and it's only a little bit after 8 in the morning already. So we're getting there. Little shops along the way. And buses. Oh, breakfast. Uh, pepper and flutter. I think I might have a breakfast before we head on up to the uh, Colton. So I ordered a cappuccino and a croissant with some with jam. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to do my uh, plan for the day and what I've done and what's left to do. And also I'm going to register for my youth my boarding pass for the flight tomorrow evening so we'll wait till I get the uh, breakfast there and we'll have this and we'll head up to Carlton Hill. Okay, so here's what I got. It was $6.95 pounds for the cappuccino and the croissant with the jam. Bon appetit. Okay, so I had the uh, cappuccino with the uh, croissant. It was good. It was a nice light little snack. So $6.95 but I was able to do my uh, admin, so I booked my boarding pass for tomorrow evening's flight. Got another window seat, which is good. And as you walk in, it's a nice view there. Everywhere you go, there's nice little views to be seen. So we're continuing up. We're gonna head to Carlton Hill. So I'm gonna turn it off now until we get a little closer review. So, Regent Road. Look at restaurant. So, here, Calton Hill. And there's a memoriam Wilson, Kennedy, and Templeton. 1825 to 1886 and then Nelson monuments at the top so we're just gonna take this stroll up to the top of Carlton Hill let's see how it is okay to the right Nelson monument I wonder if we can keep going up here Nope, that's Hume Walk, if you went straight. So, here we go. Some more steps. Good thing we had that cappuccino and the uh, croissant. Hi. Well, there's the steps gone. Now it's just a an incline up. Let's go see what's on the left first. Dougald Stewart, born November 22nd, 1753, died June 11th. 1828. Wait till you see the views here. Oh, wow, look at that. There's more. Just a little out of wind from that steps in the incline. Not too bad though. We do have some views of the city of Edinburgh. And there's the castle straight up ahead. You can see the flags in that, where they have the uh, stands for the uh, the tattoo. Okay, turn this 
so now we'll walk up this way. Definitely have good views around here. There's Arthur's seat there. So there's one, two, three, four, there's five or six different. Don't know if they're monuments or. Anyway, they're objects to look at. It looks like an observatory. And this is a good view here. Wow. So you see it. All over, so Arthur's seat, all the way up there. And then you see the whole town. And that. Very nice. I'm gonna use my camera to take a few pictures here. So we're at the back of this building. I don't know what it is yet. We're gonna go around the side, but it's this. This is definitely worth the walk up. Like, it's not that far of a walk. I'm glad I decided to do that now, this morning. Especially the nice weather we're having. With the uh, the view. No. So, the building here. It's called the Lookout. Geez, that'd be nice. They're sitting there having a coffee here, wine, overlooking Edinburgh. You see the docks along there. Wow. It's definitely worth the walk. We'll get inside that wall soon for a lookout. But I'm just showing you this. Make sure that when you do come to Edinburgh, take that little stroll up. So you just go along Princess Street and eventually, you know, a few minutes really. Stairs are not that bad. And then it is incline afterwards and it's pretty straightforward. But uh, definitely worth the, uh, the stroll around. And then here we have some more, like, very beautiful, very serene, peaceful. These look like Greek or Roman pillars, the Parthenon or something like that in Athens. Okay, so here's what it tells you. We're right here right now. So, the Dougal Stewart, so that's Observatory House, that's what that brown building is. Here's the Central Observatory, Playfair Monument, this is the National Monument, that's the one I said it looked like Greece there, and then Nelson's Monument there, there's a Portuguese gun, so you can walk around the whole place, so that's Nelson's Monument right there, and there's the Observatory. That's the National Monument. This is the center point here. I'm gonna stop here and take a few pictures. So, I'm gonna scoot over, take a look at the Nelson Monument, and then there's the Portuguese gun. Take a look at that on our way back down. We'll pass right by it. So we'll go up these stairs, around it, back down, head back down towards the town, and we'll head in towards the St. Giles Cathedral, see if that's open. Um, and we'll, we'll judge it from there. And so definitely on the cards today, we're going to try that haggis. So here's the monument. Go up here. I'm going to try that haggis with the, uh, the Swedes and the uh, potatoes. And we'll give it a a rating, whether we approve or disapprove. I know the Mars bar we tried yesterday. Was not a big fan of that. Open daily from 10. Is it not 10? Let's take a look. I don't want to go inside anyways, but I just want to... National Monument might be closed until further notice. goes to look out. 
right there. Back around this way. To the gun. It's a nice view up here though. If you had time and planned a day trip break to come up here, definitely uh, go to like a Sainsbury or a Tesco. Extra, pick up lunch. Come up here, enjoy the views. There's a few seats all around the viewing points. You have yourself a nice picnic. There's bins all over the place to put your rubbish in. So definitely, definitely do that. Let's go see the Portuguese guy. And by gun, I mean Canada, of course. It's very well decorated. Hello. Hello. Wait till your man's finishing his selfies. So, so. in the 15th century colonies in Southeast Asia so it's like Portugal and that um, Philippines it was subsequently captured by the British during the 1885 invasion of Burma 